the current market here locally along the Wasatch Front. It's an extremely exciting time. Uh, it's a time where there's opportunities out there that did not exist just a few months ago. So I do talk to a lot of people every single day. I do find that it's more or less, I'll call it common knowledge, that the market has normalized significantly in the last 90 days. And I actually find it goes a little bit further than that. <clears throat> Most people that I talk to find or believe that the market is more shifted, slowed, whatever you want to call that, than it actually is. Um, now just to walk you through some numbers, which we included our, in our latest blog this week, just in the last seven days, taking Salt Lake County as the example, 430, 437 homes listed for sale, 314 went under contract, 179 sold, officially closed. Homes are going on the market at a very high pace, as most people know, and they are actually selling. So even though the environment is one where if you open the news, it's like, oh, interest rates are making the market collapse. That is not supported by data. So I do like to walk people through that. The inventory levels have, however, gone up significantly. Taking Salt Lake County as the example again, over 2,300 active units. Last time I saw that, if I remember correctly, 2018. Those, that inventory level is still on the low end of normal. I usually call normal 3,000 to 3,500 again when we're taking Salt Lake County as the example. And like we mentioned before in the last seven days, stat, stats, homes are selling. So in the current marketplace, interest rates aside, like I mentioned, a lot of different or a lot of expanded opportunities out there. And that's because buyers actually have more to choose from now. The marketplace of this last January to, we'll call it mid, late April, it was one where buyers had to make a lot of, let's call it concessions, maybe buy a house that wasn't perfect for them after losing again and again and again in multiple offer situations. And stories from the trenches, I can assure you, selling homes was an interesting journey as well. They moved quickly, got a lot of offers, but choosing the right offers and getting people to sharpen their pencils was... Um, took a tremendous effort and finesse. So different marketplace, different strategies are going to work. Also, one more fun stat. In the last seven days in Salt Lake County, 457 homes reduced their price. That is just shy of 20 percent of the current inventory. A lot of the headlines right now are about how many price reductions are out there. I would argue and I feel strongly that those sellers that are reducing their price right now are simply reducing their price to where they should have been from the get-go. There are still a, lot of, still a lot of sellers out there who maybe they're unaware, maybe it's an ego thing. We can talk about that if you want, but they are still pricing in maybe what we should call fantasy land. And in the current environment, they are not going to get the multiple offers that perhaps they are expecting or their expectations have been prepared by their agent to, to get in. That disappointment sets in later when showing traffic is maybe uh, hearing crickets. But anyways, different strategies today. Very exciting time. If there is anything at all that I can do to help you, especially if you are selling and buying at the same time, don't want to move twice. If you're curious about what those strategies look like, you just feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks so much.